One of the things that Corey did a great job last year is improving his shooting technique, and he started from the ground on up. He was a good slasher to the basket, but he wasn't necessarily a good shooter, and he really worked hard to become a good shooter. A lot of what he did was some of the drills we're going to show you, Pat Miller shooting drills, something to keep in mind in order to become a better shooter. First of all, let's get some basics in. If Corey's going to shoot the basket, he's going to have 10 toes pointing towards the basket. Not 9, not 7, not 8, but 10. Okay? What he wants to do is he wants to be able to have his right hand and his right arm in front of his right leg. So if he's in the proper shooting position, he's presenting, then he brings the ball in, go ahead and bring it in, and notice that he's got his elbow parallel to the floor and pretty much at a 90 degree angle. That's excellent. Okay? So, and also I'd like you to look at his hand. The ball is resting on the pads of his fingers, not on the palm of his hand. So he has much more control over that. Okay? When he releases, he's going to be at the top of the shot. So when Corey brings the ball up, okay, he's going to be at the top of the shot, and I would like you to watch the follow through. Go ahead. He's holding his follow through until the ball hits the floor. And he did a great job with that in the course of the year. Okay? So just to review, 10 toes pointing towards the basket, elbow in, parallel, the right arm is parallel to the floor. He's got the ball on the pads of his fingers, not on the palm, okay? And it's one fluid motion. And the legs are the most important part of your shot. So when he releases the ball, it should be at the top of his movement. We'll try this again, okay? Now we're going to show you the Pat Miller method where he's going to bring the ball in front, bring it in, then he's going to bend his knees and he's going to go straight down, straight up. Notice the good rotation on the ball that he has here. Present, straight down, straight up. Okay? All right? Now, a variation of this will be the same thing, but he's going to have his guide hand two to three inches away from the ball. Okay? All right? Everything's going to be the same. Straight down, straight up. Okay? All right? Now, this was kind of a favorite drill of Corey's. He's going to take a step back. This is the two dribble, having your knees bent going up with the shot. He actually shot his free throws this way, okay? So he's going to take the ball, two dribbles to the side, okay? And then he's going to go up with the shot, just like you used to shoot those free throws. So we're not presenting the ball right now. Two to the side, straight down, knees bent, straight down, straight up, okay? On the side, straight down straight up. Okay? One more time. With his knees bent, straight down, straight up. One fluid motion. Good. Okay? All right. The last one we're going to show you is Corey's going to step back to the white line is our circular motion drill. This is also Pat Miller. Corey's going to have the ball in front of him. His knees are going to be bent. He's going to bring the ball in in a counterclockwise motion and he's going to shoot his shot. Okay? Now, actually, he's going to present the ball in front. Let's present it in front, okay, like this, all right, and then bring it in and then straight up. Good, okay. Knees are going to be bent, okay, all right, bringing the ball in with a good shot there.